Hello and welcome to Snow and our new mods. I'm UK Gamer 8 and today we're having a first look at well I got this out on the stream the other day but it's the first video on the new Ford F100 made by Old Rifter. Now this one is work in progress and it will be available for PC and for console because we know that's going to get asked every time to repair those side steps just like that. So, what he gave me this mod the other day, and I'll tell you what, I love the look of it, really do. I love the F100, I uh, totally forgot about these. Now, he's got the slam look, as you can see there, we've got the rain suspension on all the different suspensions like that, so you can raise it up if you, if you want, but if you want it down low, you can have it like that. Now, it does go pretty well, he's got a couple of different options on the engines for it, where you will have your sort of standard vanilla, and then he will put the OP on there as well, which this one, I have got the OP, and it's a l could do a little bit more on there, but um, all the other ones, they seem to be running pretty good. Now at the moment, we're just testing for any problems what occur uh, driving a vehicle around, and I haven't came across any problems with it at the moment. Now he has got a wrecker add-on he's gonna add to it, and he was asking to see what else he'd like to do with it because he's not sure what he was going to do with it so you can see the one next door there let's just jump in that one quickly change truck and you can see put the saddle low at the back and then he's got the fenders on there as well so I'll tell you what we're going to take this one up to the uh, test test ground it's just up around the road there so if you want to keep up to date with this mod then he's got a section in H8 mod in discord old drifter if you go down there and you'll, you'll see the mod in there because he is looking for feedback to see any ideas what you think you'd like to do with this one. Oh, it's a bit tail happy on the back there i think that's just probably down to the weight as soon as it's got a bit of a, a trailer on the back which we're going to put that on shortly i'll tell you what time's getting on now as well let's turn that back to i wish i could just set time for daytime especially when doing videos you want it at the brightest and whatever you don't you so, anyway, because we've got the high suspension on this one. Now, actually, is that the high or is that the low? Ah, this one is the towing suspension. So, he's got it so that the back end just raises just like that. So, let's go and put it through some of these obstacles and see how it gets on. So, we have got switchable four-wheel drive for it as well. Um, a bit of low. Oh, turn that on. Have I got a diff lock? Yes, we have got diff lock. And like I said, it is work in progress, so it's um, well a fair few weeks away before release, if not a little bit more, because um, he wants to look into the textures as his last mod came to console, and the RAM was very high for it, so it's one of the things learning to lower at the moment. Now this suspension is quite hard, actually. But it is the towing setup, which is why it's not giving them much give. Now I don't expect it to give much give over over here as well, as it is the towing suspension. I'm not going to change the suspension at the moment because if I do that, there's a little issue because I'm on the PTS maps and the the, the wheels will just drop through the the floor and then you get the mod stuck and you're like, oh for God's sake. So it's uh, not much fun at the moment, especially when you load back into a game, you get back into the game and your wheels are dropped through the floor and then you spend 10 minutes trying to release the bloody thing out like so. So yeah, so we haven't got much suspension give on this bit here, but I, I have got the wrong setup. But never mind. Now I won't recover, I thought I'd recover and we're going to put a trailer on, but... I can't do that. If I recover, it just drop through the floor again, and then we we'll spend two minutes trying to get the bloody thing out again. Oh, there we go. But I love the look of it, really do. And I was surprised he put the um, the saddle low on the back. I didn't see that at first, but it makes it a bit more usable. Now he has got a one-slot sideboard bed which goes on there as well. We won't go into the garage today and show you the options because uh, they're not 
perfect, well they're not all done yet, he's just sort of got the basics on there. Whoa, whoa, bugger. So being we've got the towing set up, let's go and get a trailer, I've got a trailer just down here, ready to go. And I think we've got the off-road, yes we have got the off-road gearbox, whoa. Okay, that was a bit slightly on the right there. Let's go and hook that up. Nearly smashed in the bumper already. I do wish we could just lock off the oh, lock off the uh, damage, but no. So it does pull pretty well actually. Oh, especially if you get cars that way. Now I did notice, um, I've got to let them know actually, that some of the trailers they do collide with the back of the cab there. As some modded trailers, you can see there how low the, uh, on, on the normal trailers, the hitch is right at the front. Some of the modded ones are a little bit further back. But you can see, it tows. It's not gonna have any issues, any towing. So let's put it over. Whoa, that obstacle just here. Let's see how we get on. Yeah, this is needs to be a little bit softer on that. But it is wall. It is meant for towing anyway, so we do want a bit of a harder setup, but it seems to be a little bit light. On the front there. At least the back end isn't sagging down or anything. I suppose we'd better put it through the mud. I don't think it's going to have any issues there. No, no issues with that. Whatsoever. So set with a, a trailer, works a treat. But it just makes it a little bit more usable. But it does feel a little bit light on that front end there. Uh, this is why we do testing. Look at it absolutely battered again. I hate that damage. One little knock and it just damages the crap out of it. It really does, but never mind. It might get changed one day. I doubt it though. Yeah, see, I'm turning now, and you can see it's not turning. And I think that's down to, whoa, that's probably down to the weight on the back end there. So it might want a bit of weight distribution. Now, we have got the, the active, which did raise that up a little bit more. That might help slightly. Let's have a go. Let's just drive it and then try and steer, go a little bit faster. Yeah, that, that is a little bit better actually. But it still needs a little bit of work on that. But any, anything you'd like to add on this, he's asking for guys' ideas, see what you want to do with it, then come and join the H8 Modern Discord and drop it in there. Um, I think you should set up his own Discord as well. He sent me a link for that. I seen a link for that the other day. So let's change this suspension mode, put it up a little bit, and we'll go off and do a little bit of cruising through the map. Because um, I do love this one. When I first got it out, I was just I meant to do a video on it and I was driving it around for about two hours. Now this is the slam suspension. I should have probably got the third one out with the off-road the race setup really. Whoa, it's a little bit slidey on the back end but it's the same thing again I think we might need just a little bit more weight on the back and that should pr improve the handling uh, this is the OP engine and it can do with a little bit more power because OP we like OP to be donut worth if you can do a donut with o OP I'm happy knock it up through the gears I was doing a few donuts with it earlier. I think it depends on the surface, what you're on at the time. 
but let's go and do a little bit of off-roading with this setup. And this setup is a little bit low, but we should be able to get through obstacles and what have you. Oh. Oh yes. just down here. Let's see how that goes because it is a little bit low so I don't expect it to do that well but let's put into low diff lock on we have got all wheel drive on oh, do we have all wheel drive on perhaps we didn't have all wheel drive on and as low as it is that's getting through there a low plus. Cool. Now, if you're looking for the link to join H8 Modern Discord, there's always in the description. And then, as you come into Discord, I just knew I was gonna. Um, on the left-hand side, I've got the mod creators on there so you come in look for their name and then you can have a look to see he's updated it with the latest pictures of what's going on and what have you but nice mod and will be available on all platforms as soon as it's released got to work on a few things to do with texturing for a console but uh, as soon as that happens and it come on console but it won't be for a while yet so there we have the Ford F100 by Old Drifter available on all platforms very soon and if there's anything you're looking for ideas what to do with it come and let us know or drop it in the video comments and now I'll pop back and have a look I do get a lot of messages so I don't get to reply to everyone I do try, but sometimes it gets, um, I get hundreds a day, so sometimes I just can't catch up, but let me know in the comments what you think of this bad boy, thanks for watching, until the next time, goodbye.